how to shoot product photography, reflective objects, bottles. Today I'm shooting with a Holden Trusty Sigma 50mm 1.4 art lens just because, uh, in my opinion, most zoom lenses distort. So 50mm gives me that uh, human eye perspective, especially uh, on the bottles. We've tried a few different things because reflections didn't work on the, on the bar. Uh, we moved the light a few times and uh, it's from the top, uh, pointing the ceiling first, bouncing it back uh, to from the side, like this flat, like a window. And uh, that's what it looks like now, it works. The most important thing is try different things. Sometimes it just doesn't work, there's no recipe, there is no written rule, just try different things. Mainly, move the light first, that's the first thing you should do, move the light around, just see what works the best, what the reflections look like, what the spillage of the light is. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, change the angle slightly. Um, that's it. Try to be creative. <laughs> uh, I've tried a few uh, color gels on flash uh, to get a bit of a color in the background, and that's what it looks like. Quite simple, but you just have to try different things to create a bit different look every time. Bacon booties just arrived, and I don't eat bread or bacon. Great. We've been shooting these um, bottles now for a while and uh, we pretty much tried everything, every possibility and the color gels work brilliantly matching the brand on the, on the labels to, to match the background to the label on the bottles. Uh, next thing, we're moving to a brewery to shoot some uh, high key product, a white background. After a short trip around the corner, different town, uh, we are in a brewery, Moorhouse Brewery, and we're gonna shoot some more product photography, this time high key, very reflective glass bottles. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set it up and show you how to do this. So it's all set up and ready to go. There's a big diffusion cube and two lights on either side and the flash in the back. And we've got an extra wireless flash to, to fill in whatever light is uh, missing. So that's what it looks like. The bottles go inside. There's two lights. And there's a hidden flash in the back. I'm just gonna see what, how it's gonna look. After a couple of tests, the, it worked the first time with the two lights on either side, uh, but not flashes. The flashes were making too, too bright picture, and the edges of the bottles were washing out into a very hazy edge. So what I've done, I've, I've removed the flash from the back and from the front as well. I only used these two lights on either side of the cube, and I moved them further away, so they're a bit softer, creating a softer, bit softer effect. And then the rest of it, just Lightroom and Photoshop. Easy.